How to set up subdomain in Cloudways? Well, in this video, I'm going to show exactly how you can turn this application URL from this to this. Let's get started. To assign a subdomain in Cloudways, you need to create an application. To do that, you must log into your Cloudways account and then click on the applications. Click add new application. Okay, this step is very important. You must only select the server where the primary domain is hosted. In this example, I'm going to select my server called server2 and then click add application. What you need to do now is to select the application. In this case, I'm going to choose WordPress and then give it a name for the subdomain application. Uh, I'm going to call it awesome page and you can assign it to a project. This is completely optional. You can select a different project from the primary domain. It is totally fine. As long as the subdomain and the primary domain are in the same server, you're good to go. So after that, click add application. And now you only need to wait for a few minutes until the installation is complete. By the way, you can also duplicate or create a staging site for the subdomain. It is perfectly fine as long as they are on the same server as the primary domain. Once the application has been created, now you can go to the application list and then click on the application. Now go to domain management here we need to add the subdomain that you want to assign for this application to do that just click add subdomain and now you can enter the subdomain url so for example my primary domain is nusapixel.com and i want to add awesome.nusapixel.com so i can just type in right here after that you can click add domain we are not yet finished what you need to do now is click on this icon and then select make primary click set as primary just keep in mind that this process could take a while. So the new subdomain has been assigned to the application. And as you can see here, it has been changed. But do not click on the link because if you do that now, your browser will only see an error page. And even worse, after you are completing the next step, it would still showing the error page because they still store the same information from the first time you visit the website. So you have to go back on the setting and then reset all sort of stuff. Again, do not click on the subdomain URL. At least until you finish the next step. The next thing you need to do is go to your domain provider. In this case, I'm using Cloudflare so I can just log it into the service. But this process is the same regardless of your domain provider. You could be using GoDaddy, Namecheap, or any other services. That is perfectly fine. If you are using Cloudflare, you can just go to your domain setting and then click DNS. Now what you need to do is to add a new record. Click Add Record and then on the type, select CNAME. The name should be your subdomain. For example, my subdomain was awesome. So I can just type it right here. And then for the target, it could be your primary domain or you can also use this add symbol. It is perfectly fine. Now in many domain providers, they're probably going to ask you about time to light duration. In my case, it is automatic, but if they are asking you for that, you can just enter a number to be 300 or 600. And then. After you have set up everything, you can just save the new setting, click save. But we are not out of the woods yet because it could take several minutes up to a few days to propagate the subdomain. It depends on your domain provider. But in my case, I'm using Cloudflare so it's already pretty fast. You're going to resolve the new subdomain in just a few minutes. If you are unsure whether or not your subdomain has been propagated properly, I highly recommend using a service like DNS Checker to see if your new subdomain is working properly. So after everything has been set up, you can actually start opening your new subdomain just click here and it will open the new website with a new subdomain as you can see here it is no longer the wordpress random number and then codebaseapp.com instead it is attached to my primary domain and it looks a lot better and that's how you set up a subdomain on your Cloudways account. But there is one simple thing that you need to change on your Cloudways application. This setting will make your website a lot more stable and faster and can be activated with a simple click. To learn more about that, click this video.